Hi everyone and welcome to Greeklish Outdoors. Today we are looking at camping pillows and what your options are. So, stick around. So when you're camping, one of the things which is really important is getting a good night's sleep. But one thing that people often forget to take out is a pillow. Yes, some people may use their bag as a last resort or rolled up clothes, but today I'm going to talk to you about the different options available to you when you're buying a camping pillow. So I've picked out five different style budget pillows that you can take with you camping, and hopefully we'll find out which one is the best for you. So the first pillow we're going to look at today is the Snug Pack Collapsible Snuggy Pillow. I paid €10.90 for this. This is a polyester filled pillow. It weighs approximately 200 grams. It comes with an integrated stuff sack. When it is packed down, it is 27.5 centimeters by 17.5 centimeters. And when it is unfolded, it is 35 centimeters by 25 centimeters. So all you do is loosen the toggle on this and basically the pillow folds out on itself and there you have a nice soft spongy pillow to use so for me it's a nice soft pillow it's got a good depth to it for comfort for your neck and your head the polyester feels soft, but not too silky smooth. I've used this pillow on many camps and found it to be very comfortable. Personally, I like two pillows, so I always need another one underneath this. But for most people, this is really comfortable. And to pack this away, all you do is do the reverse. You just stuff this stuff sack around. You squish down the pillow. Tighten up the toggle, as tight as you can make it. And there's your pillow packed away, ready to go in your bag. For some people it might be too big. I quite like the size, it's not too bad. It still will compress down further in your rucksack if you need to. But overall, a great pillow. I'll give this a four out of five. Next up is the MFH thermal folding pillow. Most of you will know this as a seat pad, but it is advertised as a folding pillow. So that's why I've put it as a bit of a wild card in this review today. This costs three euros 80. It's a closed cell foam pad made of polyethylene. When it is folded, it is 30 centimeters by 10 centimeters by four centimeters. And when it is unfolded it is 39 centimeters by 30 centimeters by a centimeter it weighs just 30 grams so it will easily fit in your pack and of course it doubles up as a seat pad too now what is it like as an actual pillow all right so for me even at when it's even when it's folded up it's still quite thin so it's definitely not a pillow I'd want to use on its own it's far too thin it's not supportive of my neck at all ideally it'd need to be that thickness so you'd probably need two of these but with the weight being so light then maybe two of these wouldn't be a problem for you to carry on the face it feels a bit awkward because of the bumpy texture but I'm sure you could get used to it. Like many of you, I've mainly used it as a seat pad, but I have actually used it in the past as an extra pillow to bolster my, my second pillow up a little bit. Of course, the one thing about these seating pads or pillows is that they do degrade quite quickly. As you can see here, parts of it are pulling apart, but it is so cheap. You could get a couple of these and you know, as I said, 
use them for a pillow, use them for a seat pad. Two of these in your backpack as a bit of back support if it doesn't already have a frame. Overall though, as a pillow on its own, I'd give it two out of five. Now we have our first inflatable pillow in this review. This is the popular Trekology Aluft Pillow Deluxe. It is a blow-up pillow and it does have an integrated cover case and it also the cover actually has some foam in there as well. It does cost 17 euros. It weighs 120 grams. When it is folded down it is 15.2 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 7.6 centimeters but when it's inflated it is 40 and a half by 28 by 10 centimeters. It is made from TPU foam and polyester. So to actually use this, just undo the toggle. Undo the bag and basically just push it out on itself. This case simply tucks away in there. As you can see, it has a nice soft pillowcase on which does have some foam in there. It has an elastic here to attach it to your sleeping pad and to inflate it you simply have this valve here. Undo that. The valve allows you to blow air in without any air escaping and then you simply click in the button to allow any air to escape when you are deflating it. So let's inflate it now. So basically a couple of breaths, you're in, simply just click the cover back over the valve. You can inflate it or deflate it to the firmness you require. But how comfortable is it? Well, for me, this pillow is very comfortable. Like with all pillows, for me, one is not enough, so I always put my hand underneath it. But it feels soft to the touch on your face. There's a nice amount of support here for your neck and head. As I said, you can deflate it or inflate it for the firmness that you require. I really do love this strap to attach it to your inflatable mat so it doesn't move around in the night like many other pillows do. To deflate it, you simply push this valve in, just like an inflatable mat, squeeze all the air out of this, pop that toggle back over there, and then you can get out the cover and just simply push it back inside. And it packs away to a very small size. The only thing to be wary about with inflatable pillows is of course they can get punctures and then they are pretty much useless unless you have a puncture repair kit with you when you are camping. But overall it's a super pillow, it's really comfortable, extremely soft. I'd give this probably a four, four and a half out of five. Right, so now we have another polyester filled pillow. This is the Trespass Snooze Fest Moss Pillow. This is slightly different to the Snug Pack in the fact that the carry case is separate. It costs me 10 euros 50. It weighs 180 grams. The dimensions are 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters. When it is folded up like this, it's approximately 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Let's get it out of its cover. Simply undo the toggle. It's got a nice handle at the bottom to help you pull it out, which I do like. And then your pillow simply fluffs up. And the good thing about this is you can machine wash it. It's polyester filled, but it has a nice cotton and polyester mix case.
Right, it's got a nice depth to it. Still not enough for me. I do like having a nice regular style pillow when I'm camping. It does aid in my sleep a little bit, but it's nice, it's soft, it's comfortable. It's a good size for your head. The cotton and polyester case will absorb any dirt and sweat that goes onto this, but it can be washed, which is a good thing. And to put it away, we just put it back in its case. Which is very easy to do with this stuff sack. And then just tighten this toggle up. And there you have it. It is quite a bulky pillow. Some people might not like that, but no more bulky than the snug pack. But overall, I'd give it a four out of five. And last but not least, we have the Miltech self-inflating pillow. This one costs nine euros 95. As I said, it's self-inflating, but it does have a polyester filling, which means it is a hybrid pillow. It has a separate carry bag weighing 243 grams. When it is stored, it's 38 centimeters by 14 centimeters, but when you let it inflate, it is 38 by 22 by 8.5 centimeters. When it's in its storage bag, it is the longest pillow we're trying out today. To get it out, simply undo this toggle. Pull out the pillow. Already you can tell it's a bulky pillow due to the fact it's got a lot of foam in there. Right, let's let it inflate. Simply undo the valve. And allow it to inflate. I do find with a lot of self-inflating pillows and pads, you do have to give it a couple of extra breaths to help it out. There you have it, it's inflated there. But how comfortable is it? Right, for me, I have let out a little bit of air out of it, because otherwise, when it is too inflated, it's very stiff and quite hard on your face. That hybrid composition of this means that you get a little bit more extra give in it than you would do from a regular inflatable pillow. It's nice, it's a large size for your head. I like the shape with a little dip in the middle. Helps support your neck a little bit better. The only complaint I have is the fact that it's the polyester case on it, which I don't like that shiny effect on your face when you're sleeping, especially when it's hot and you've been sweating, you feel like you're gonna stick to the pillow. The good thing about this pillow is that even if you get a puncture, because it's got so much foam in there, you'll still be able to use it as a pillow. This pillow is one of the more difficult ones to put away. Obviously you undo the valve and you squeeze as much air out as you can. And quickly do up the valve before it inflates. Because it's quite bulky with the foam, it can be a little bit more tricky to get in. However, there is quite a wide opening to allow for this. When you get it in the, in the bag for the last part, just open the nozzle just a little bit, just to squeeze out a little bit more air. Tighten it. Eventually, it does go in. For me, as I said, the issue is the material of the actual case itself. It's a bit slippery, it's a bit sticky on your head. So even though it is comfortable, therefore I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. So there's the five pillows I've chosen to show you today. I think overall the Trekology pillow is the most comfortable, the most user-friendly, the easiest to put away, the easiest to put up. So that I think would win for me. However, I do like the polyester pillows. The Snug Pack and the Trespass are both comfortable. I have to say in last place, which most of you might have expected, would be the MFH folding pillow stroke seat pad. It's just not big enough, to be honest. Nice idea, 
to try and use it for multiple purposes but for me I will still be using it as a seat pad on the whole. So I hope you found that video useful and it helps you in picking your next pillow for when you're camping. If you did like the video please consider subscribing to the channel but for now thanks for watching take care much love see you next time.